Welcome back everyone to an other tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make an easy score system using Playmaker. Um, in this score system you will be collecting bananas but of course you can also adjust it to coins or whatever. The great thing about Playmaker and the score system is that you won't be double counting your score which sometimes happens with other scripts in case you have several colliders in your character. So this should solve that problem as also my character has a lot of colliders. So let's get into it. So I've got the scene set up um, from last time. I think you're familiar with it. If you followed my uh, tutorials, there's some moving blocks. And what I'm going to add is a score system uh, in which you can collect bananas. So first thing I'm going to do is create an empty and this is going to be my score system score system and here i'm going to add a fsm this is an important fsm and it will start out just idling because it will just wait for you to do something and what it's going to do is add points so i'm going to events i'm going to add an event add point and i'm going to mark this little box here which makes it a global and my second state will be this global event. So if I'm going to add a transition, I can add here a add points. So you can see it starts here, but it can also enter from the add point if add point is triggered. And in this state, I'm going to add a uh, int value variable at int int add. So the one here at the top. Um, and I have to add a global variable for this. If I go to variables and I click global variables, here there are some variables in from uh, some other parts of the game, but let's make a new one, which is called add point. And if variable type is a int, now I'm just gonna add this here, so add point. And if I go now back to the state, I can select a global variable here which is called add point and what I want to do is add one point once I hit um, let's say a collectible in this case a banana so I'm gonna add a point here and then I'm going to finish and in the next state I'm going to update the score update score so let's connect these let me drag this up here and of course I want to add, update the score in a text or in a UI field, which I define on my screen. So I want to have a UI text set text because I want to change the text. At the beginning it should be zero or not available. Um, and I want to update this text. So let's add this text actually to our uh, game UI. You can also just press here, right click anywhere you like, go to UI and add a text and it automatically adds it to the playmaker um, game user interface in the canvas and if i zoom out now there is a new text here which is pretty small if i go to game you can see here a little text um, let's make this a little bit bigger let's make it font size 40. Um, make sure to add here overflow horizontal overflow vertical overflow that way the text will be seen um, perhaps let's drag it up here to the top and i want to always have it let's say connected to the top left if possible so if i go to game now you can see it here it's black for now of course you can change the font and uh, make their different kind of things but let's leave it like this let's just change the name to score and if I go now back to the score system, I'm going to set the UI text, set text of a specified game object, which is the score. And the text here sh should, of course, be a variable, another variable which we want to update. And there's currently not a variable, so I'm going to variable. I'm going to make a local string variable, so a string um let's just call this the score 
a string can, let's say, add up numbers. And the value should just be zero for now. So I'm not going to change anything here. And I'm going to back to the state. And the text is score. Now, a int is just a number, and it's not necessarily, let's say, a text. So this int value needs to be changed um, by going to int or string ah, convert int to string. I, I used to use uh, recently, that's why it popped up. So convert int to string. And the int variable is the global add point variable, which I made earlier, which is this one. It's one point, and I want to change this add point into my score string, which is here. And I'm going to do this every frame, so it's continuously up to date. So having that set up, in the game you see now a text, and this is then the score system manager. Now I need something easily to um, trigger this point score. So let me just zoom back in here to my level, which is very small as you can see. Perhaps I should make it bigger in the next time. And let's add here a empty, uh, let's just call it collectible. Is that collect? I think it's correct. If my English is bad, I apologize. And I'm just going to add, drag this banana in here. Okay, that's a huge banana. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Huge banana. It's, it sounds funny, man. I've got some huge bananas up stock. Uh, let's um, add this to the player value. So, uh, player layer, sorry. I want it to be on top. Um, this is going to make it now just hang there. I'm going to add this, by the way, to collectible. Um, I'm going to add a component, which is a circle collider was already there as I was playing around with it earlier and the circle collider should be a trigger let's see how big is it let's make it let's say around the banana and the banana should have a finite state machine and it has a trigger let's go to the action browser and it's called a trigger to D event so on trigger enter uh, player tag we have to add a transition finish don't forget to also send the event finished and in the next state we are calling add point and how do i connect now this banana to my score system i'm going to send an event send event and I'm going to send an event to a game object FSM, which you might have guessed is the score system FSM. And FSM name, I can just click here, it's FSM. I could have also called this, let's say, score. And the event I want to send is the global event, the add point event, which is this one, I think should be this one because it already knows that I made this a global event within that FSM. I have here some other add, add points. Um, this is used in other level. It's kind of confusing right now. So I hope I selected the right one, add points. Let me just confirm this uh, here in the event, which is add point. Very good. Sorry for this confusion. And now let's see. Um, of course, once I pick up the banana, I want to, let's say, destroy the banana. So I'm also going to add a destroy self after I send the event. So I always make this after. If it's before, then of course it cannot send the event. Right. So if we now click play, um, we can see that the text is now gone. But the moment I let's say, touch the banana, it should update the text. And voila, you see a one here. A little bit far to the left. If you go back to the scene, uh, we can also just go to the score. And wow, this is, perhaps drag it a little bit out. I 
could even make it a little bit more bigger, 50. Um, I, perhaps I want to use other uh, another uh, font, uh, make it bold. And what I could do in addition, of course, is to go to UI and add a image here. And the image should just be the banana image. And I could just, let's say, add it here, make it perhaps a little bit smaller. And the question is if I want to have the banana one banana, I can also have banana one. Uh, let's say, let's put the order like perhaps this. Um, this is the banana picture, call it banana. And the score like this. So you see banana and then the one shows up. And perhaps let's make a couple more bananas. So I only have one. Oh, and perhaps, perhaps we should make the bananas more lively. They're not just, just standing there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a rigid body, rigid body 2D to the banana. So now it will be dropping. And then, of course, I also need to add a other collider. And for this collider, I'm just going to add a um, which one should I do? The, not the polygon. It could be the polygon collider, actually, I think. Does it make sense? Yes. So the polygon, what it actually does, let me just make this banana big quick. It adds a collider all around it. So very, let's say, specific. Um, let's make it small again. 5, 0 0.05. And uh, let's make sure the circle collider is not contacting the other one. Um, and let's add some more bananas. Just going to put them around there. So, and if we press start now, the bananas probably will fall down. And hey, you can see the bananas there on the ground. I have the banana here in the screen. Can you all see it? Perhaps we can just put a pause, maximize on play, go back. So here's the banana now. Here's the character. The banana fell down and boom. One, two, three, four, five bananas. Awesome. That's great. That's, that's as easy as you make a counter. So thank you all for watching and hopefully see you next time. Cheers.